Hey guys, this is Susie Eller, and I'm sitting with my beautiful friend, Micah Maddox, today. She is the author of a new book. We're going to hold them up at the same time. Okay. Here we go. Anchor it in. Isn't it, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> you know, Micah is an author. She's a foster mama. She's a mama. She's in ministry, and she's a speaker. And, uh, you know, Micah, as I read your story... I was really touched by your story that you started off with, which is about your dad. Mm -hmm. um, it's a pretty honest and vulnerable story of being a pastor's daughter and a daddy's girl. Mm -hmm. And one day to find out that dad had not only left the church, but he had left his little girl behind. Yeah. And feeling abandoned as a little girl is one thing. But how does that affect us in later years as an adult? Wow, Susie. So for me, I don't know if this is true for everyone, but I think a lot of people can relate. For me, I didn't really deal with the abandonment until I was an adult. Mm -hmm. So when I really, when I had my own little girl mm -hmm. and I looked into her eyes yeah. and I saw myself, that's when I began to deal with it. And so it truly, it affected me as a child, of course, but deeply affected me as an adult. And that's part of the reason why I wrote Anchored In <laughs> is because I was dealing with these really deep, deep feelings and emotions, and I didn't know how to sift through them. And um, God just met me in that place where I felt extremely abandoned and alone. And I had to deal with the abandonment or I wasn't going to be able to function in my mm -hmm. normal life. And um, I think everyone that has experienced abandonment maybe kind of presses it down at first, right. pushes it away. Right. Right. And um, I, I think as an adult, we're forced to deal with those things from our past. Right. And, and it's, mm -hmm. this book is not just for those who feel abandoned or, or whose dad is not in the picture. Right. This book for? This book is for anyone who has felt the sting of hurt in their heart. You know, when I first started writing this book, I thought really that it was just for me, mm -hmm. for me as I was healing and processing. But God gave me a tenderness and compassion for the woman who is hurting. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's for the person who is hurting. And, you know, some of my dearest friends right now, they're not necessarily going through the deepest struggle of their life, but I guarantee you if they're not, they know someone who is. Absolutely. Well, and I love your, your subtitle. It's Experience a Powerful Life mm -hmm. in a Problem-Filled World. And it's not a powerful mm -hmm. life. It's a powerful life. What is yes. it? So a powerful life is very different from a powerful, F-U-L, life. A powerful life is a life that's filled with God's power. And when we're filled with God's power, the only way to be filled with God's power is to be empty of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And until we're empty of all of the struggles and trials and trauma that we carry, we can't really allow God to fill us. But too often we just hold and cling and anchor ourselves to our past and our problems and our trials that we can't, we can't be filled. We can't be full of God's power until we're empty. Okay, so here's the dilemma. And, mm -hmm. and I know this because we kind of share a story in that my dad, my biological dad was just never there Okay. And later in life. And I remember as a young mom looking at my own children and thinking I'm there and mm -hmm. I, I want to be there and I can't imagine not being there. And suddenly that flipped this switch on is, well, why is he not there for me? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and when you have that sense of loss, especially when it has to do with a dad, mm -hmm. it can really skew your view of your heavenly father. Yes. So what would you say to that woman who right now is saying, you know what? Good for you too. 
<laughs> Glad it all worked out. <laughs> Which it really didn't. I think that's the misnomer. But good right. for you too. But how in the world can I feel the same way you do? And how can I even trust God when right. my earthly dad or somebody that was really important in my life has checked out? Yeah. So first I would say it doesn't happen overnight. Yes. You know, that trust, that that full surrender, that being empty of everything, that doesn't happen mm -hmm. overnight, Susie. Mm -hmm. And so this, this book, this freedom, this deliverance that I speak about, this power, you know, it's not something that just one day I woke up and said, oh, I've conquered it. I did it. I'm free. I'm free. It really wasn't until I dove into the depths of the despair of abandonment. I stared it down in the face and said, okay, I'm going to deal with this thing because mm -hmm. in, until, until we deal with it, we're just, we're just bound by it. Mm -hmm. We're just, we're totally bound and we feel trapped and there's women who are going to say good for you. And they know what that feeling of feeling trapped is. And I know too, because I've been there, right. but until, until I, dealt with it. And when I say dealt with it, it's so complicated because it's not just a one day I dealt with it. It was a day by day, by moment, by moment experience that, you know, there were days I failed yeah. and, and I, I would shake my fist at God and say, how, how dare you? And I would cry my eyes out. Right. <laughs> and, and I still cry sometimes, Susie, you know? So when I say that, um, that I'm free or what, what would I say to that woman that is struggling or that says good for you? I would tell her one day you're going to make it. You can make it. You can get through this. Yeah. And there will be a day that if you will continue to, to seek, continue to face the reality of life. See what we do is we avoid reality. We press it away. We push it away. And when we face it, that's when we can really deal with it. Mm -hmm. And this is where the topic or the title of your book really, you anchor in, mm. anchor in. Mm -hmm. You find that unmovable, unshakable place yeah. with the Heavenly Father who will never leave you, never abandon you, never right. forsake you. Right. And he begins to do the work on the inside of you. And, and I, don't, I don't know. I didn't think this was possible. But there yeah. came a time in my own life as I anchored in, as you so show us how to do in this, mm -hmm. is that out of that rock that I anchored on mm -hmm. came a place of not just safety and stability, but mm -hmm. it also allowed me to turn around and have compassion for those who fell short. Yeah. It allowed me to give grace where it was needed. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. I just, for that woman right now, and I want you to pray for her. Mm -hmm. She will starting today um, have a place to anchor in. Will you pray over her as we end this? Yes, I will. Father, we just come to you right now. We lift up the woman who is hurting, that woman who feels betrayed, alone, abandoned, hurt. God, I pray that you would just reach out and touch her heart. Father, we know that you are able to give us the deliverance. You're able to be the father that we need. You're able to be everything that we need. So I pray, Lord, for the one right now who's listening, who needs to feel and sense and know the reality of your presence. God, I pray that you just make yourself real to her, and that you give her exactly what she needs from you. I thank you for my sister, Susie. Thank you for this time, Lord, to just focus on you. Lord, I pray that someone today would choose to be anchored in your power, to be anchored in your presence, Lord, so that they can find the freedom. They can find deliverance. They can find the forgiveness that they need to offer to accept. God, we need you so much. Yes. We just love you, Lord. And we ask that you would 
bless our sisters. Lord, help us to link arms and to lift each other up. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Micah, where can they find this great resource? And I'm going to tell you, she has set this up beautifully so that you can study it individually, but you can also study it in a small group setting. This could be a great fall resource for your women's ministries or your church. Mm -hmm. um, how do they find out more about you and about your okay. book? So you can go to my website. It's micahmaddox.com, M-I-C-A-H. Maddox, M-A-D-D-O-X.com. And also the book is available at Barnes and Noble, Lifeway, Amazon, pretty much everywhere books are sold. You can find it. Um, it's available and it's out there for everyone. So, yeah. Well, this is a great resource. So if you've really been praying and saying, Lord, you know what? I am tired of feeling these feelings. I know that there is more for me and I know that you have something um, for me. I think that this would be a fantastic resource. So this is Susie and Maddox. I hope that you'll come back to my blog at tsudaneller.com and that you'll check out this book, Anchored In. Um, it's, a, it's a great book and it's going to help you find what you've been looking for.